we have the ability to create some happiness at any moment, but we have to put our energy into it. Happiness is not an accident, it is a habit. What helped me through my darkest days when I would get chemo and not be able to get out of bed except to roll over to vomit into my trash can, those were tough days to be positive. Um, and so what I would do is, I would close my eyes and I would think about every single thing that made me lucky, like my grandparents and my parents, and if those things don't make you lucky, then don't think about them, but you know, um, that, that even if my body didn't work, my brain still did, and all the things I could think of, that I, that, uh, you know, I have my sense of humor, that uh, Star Trek, like whatever it was that I was grateful for, and I would just keep thinking about those things over and over again until I started crying from gratitude. I literally just, would not stop thinking of all the great things in my life until I would cry from gratitude, even laying in bed, nauseous, with lupus nephritis, post chemo, right? We have the ability to create some happiness at any moment, but we have to put our energy into it. Happiness is not an accident, it is a habit. I want you to get that. Happiness is not an accident. It's not something some people are just blessed with because they happen to have more things in their life. Happiness is a habit. And if you want to create that habit, the way you do that, the number one habit in happy people is gratitude. They habitually focus on gratitude. And if you can have horrible things going on in your life and you can find something that you can hold on to, tether yourself for gratitude, then you hold on with all your might. You do not let go of that. I always tell people that, that what you think about is very much like how you can look around, right? So we have this neck with our head attached to it and our eyes, right? If you are staring at the thing that makes you feel unlucky, it feels like everything is unlucky and terrible. If you're staring at the news about the coronavirus, if you're staring at your fingers that are curled up in pain, if you're staring at whatever it is that makes you feel like a victim right now or, or giving you pain right now, that will take up your whole world. You got to learn how to turn your head. You got to look everywhere, everywhere you can. You keep looking until you find something beautiful, anything, and you hold on to it with all you got. And then as soon as you got one, you look for another one and you look for another one until you can build up a world that's got the thing that you were stressed about here, but then a whole collage of all the other stuff going on that makes life beautiful. And if you have that, then you can get through it because you're like, okay, this is very stressful and this is beautiful and this is beautiful and this is beautiful and this is beautiful. And that is how you create a world that you can feel safe living in, whether you're in pain or whether you're scared about the virus, or whatever it is that's going on in your life. That's how you do it. So the worse your anxiety and pain is, the more you have to just search. You're looking on the ceiling. You're looking anywhere you can. Look out the window, try to find a squirrel running by, right? Whatever, it, find something. If you can't find something in your exterior world, then that's what you go online for, not to focus on coronavirus, but to find something or someone who inspires you that can help you feel grateful or anchored in the moment. We have to work at it. We have to work at happiness. Don't work at anxiety. That's something that a lot of you are already good at. You don't want to practice that. You want to practice looking for what's good in any given moment to remember that if you woke up today, this is what my, my Holocaust survivor grandparents who, who suffered enormously, enormously, family members murdered, starved through the war, war in a work camp in Europe, right? And they used to tell me that every day you wake up and you are free, it is a good day. That got me through so much of my life. Um, so, I want you guys, I really want you guys to dig into this, to not take this as platitudes or as, you know, like, oh, nice to say you sitting there in your office over there. No, I'm telling you, this is what I do. This is what I believe in. And this is what works. And it works for me and it works for the people that I treat. And see, there I go. I was crying the whole time. But I really mean that this is the path through this. We got to focus on gratitude. We got to focus on what we have. We got to be there for each other. And take the precautions we need to. But you see how you did that? The precautions are here, and then move on to everything else that you need to do to keep your mood up, to keep the people around you with their mood up too. We gotta take care of each other. 